Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Jeff and today we are going to have some fun playing Magic. And the fun thing we're trying to do is we're playing Kaikar Control. So Kaikar wins Fury. Uh, four cover mana costs flying. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, create a 1-1 white spirit creature token with flying. Uh, and then you can sacrifice a spirit to add red mana. So lots of cool things you can do in a control deck with Kaikar. Um, and so this deck was actually built by Small. So you guys have seen him, I'm sure, a few times in the in the live streams. Uh, and uh, he's always been the control player and I always am playing aggro or something like that. But uh, I do enjoy control every once in a while. And if I was going to ever play control, it probably would be in the Jeskai colors over anything else. Uh, and so I was really intrigued by this deck and I wanted to go ahead and test it out, see how it does for us. So uh, I'm, I'm not going to dive too much into control because I feel like when you, when you jump into a control deck, like every single piece is like, okay, are we going to be worried about this or this or this or this? You can jump into a lot of different stuff with that. But the, the basic thing is I think Flame Sweep is really good with Kaikar. It's better because uh, you don't kill your your spirit creatures like Deafening Clarion does. Deafening Clarion actually kills Kaikar as well. But there still is a, those times you want to have the Deafening Clarion either just to gain life and, and get back into the game, especially because you're creating lots of tokens we can go wide and win the game that way. Um, and so it's kind of like a mix a mix there. I, I think you could go three and one. Uh, and I would go maybe, maybe more towards a Flame Sweep depending on what meta is looking like if two damage is going to kill and enough of things you're running up to running into uh otherwise our main finishers for the deck god eternal kefnet chandra niv mizzet niv mizzet is huge in this deck a really big part of what we're trying to go for teferi of course just really good both teferis and uh, the great thing about kaikar is that it creates a, a spirit creature token with flying even when it's just a non-creature spell. So we really don't have that many creature spells at all in the deck. We should be able to, once we have a Kaikar out, be able to just keep getting value, grinding, grinding, grinding. Use the extra mana if we need to, to you know, fire off a Flame Sweep real quick. Uh, or or something that's instant speed, Chandra's Triumph, which I really like Chandra's Triumph in here because we do have the Chandra. But the biggest thing is Lava Quill right now, um, it's sorcery speed. Not many people are playing the the Phoenix right now, which is the main reason you want it. And the only other thing that that Chandra's that Lava Quill hits over Chandra's Triumph is uh the the Lava Quill, is a Feather, which Feather I feel like is typically protected anyway. A lot of people aren't even playing it until they guarantee you have a way to protect it. Uh, and so I'd rather be trying to make sure we're absorbing that or making sure that we're, we're you know taking care of it through a counter. Uh, I think it's going to be better. And Chandra's Triumph does let us actually target instant speed, planeswalkers, and creatures. So a little bit more versatility there. So that's that was one thing that I, I wanted to add into the deck. But uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, let's go ahead and get into the gameplay, see how it goes, and wish me luck. Before we jump into the gameplay, a quick thanks to Fusion Gaming for sponsoring this video. Be sure to head over to FusionGamingOnline.com for all your Magic the Gathering needs. Check the link in the description below. All right, up against Toronor. Bring it on, Toronor. And uh, so we're playing Kai Card Control, and we are playing in ranked right now, which I never play ranked, but Vitalizes, we don't have really anything else, but any, well, I guess we have Warrant as well. We can keep this. I'd like to find blue mana so, uh, soon, um, which these can help us do that. So this is the game plan. We also don't really have tons of interaction, but this this will be okay. Yeah, so I'm playing in ranked because control is one of those decks that you don't typically. Uh, you, I, I just feel bad playing it in normal free play, even though free play has been really competitive lately. I feel like it's been insanely competitive. Um, there's our Kaikar though, so let's go ahead and pass the turn. See who we are up against. All right, opponent's passing. We will revitalize. There's blue mana. And more blue mana. Well, let's Sulfur Falls. We'll just opt and revitalize. Pass turn. It would be nice to wait until we have Kaikar out to do those, but I think that we kind of want to refill and try to find some... Well, let's see what we're up against first. Oh, yeah, that's not great. All right, let's opt another land. I don't think we need another another land. We have four now. There's Chandra. Chandra's great. All right. And unfortunately, Kaikar probably going to die if we play it right out. We'll see. It might still be good enough. It is a decent blocker for the war boss. I'm just worried about lightning strikes or anything like that. Flame sweep is phenomenal. All right, there we go. That's what we want. All right, Glacial Fortress will uh, absorb something if we need to, and then Flame Sweep. Uh, yeah, yep, 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 that's what we want. Please play, like, another Legion War boss here. That would be beautiful. All 
Uh, and we're okay taking... All right, so Dreadhorde Arcanist. Uh, do we just want to absorb that? So this, this means that we're playing against Feather, so maybe I hold on to that for Feather. All right, so let's go ahead and Flame Sweep. See if they have a response. They might. If they're playing the Feather deck, they could have something else here. Maybe I should have just waited until the end. But I feel like they would have played other things. All right, so we get, were able to get rid of quite a bit of power. And let's... Let's see here. Do we want to go for Kaikar? Do we want to hold up in case of Feather? Um, let's play... Cliff top retreat into warrant and absorb. So yeah, let's let's do that. Pass the turn. Uh, that's fine. Getting into the graveyard doesn't do much for us. Uh, bouncing this guy back though can slow them down a lot. All right, let's see if they've got the feather. They have the feather. They had the feather. <laughs> And then they're going to exile the Divine Strike. Yeah, there we go. So that's pretty much what needs to happen against Feathers. As long as you get the Absorb on it, uh, typically you win. Um, it, it's so sad, but that's kind of like, that's why Control is so good with this too, is that you just have to do the right things there, and it, and it works. All right, up against Kube. Kube 2. <laughs> Cube 2. Or is that like with an exponent of 2? Um, and we don't have a lot. We have Chandra's Triumph into flame sweep so we have an aggro hand uh, an answer for that i don't we are in the draw so we can hopefully find lands i'm gonna keep this i guess it's not a terrible hand i've definitely kept worse before and and won games with it so we shall see and sometimes people end up mulliganing so much trying to just get that perfect hand that you can end up Winning just by keeping your seven card hand and just having that extra little bit of advantage. Um, sometimes. Not always. Sometimes. All right, yeah, down to five. Steam vents. Uh, let's go. I want to sing good game. All right, steam vents tapped. Pass the turn. Is that because he has a great hand already or what? Syncopate's pretty good here as well. Um, I'm thinking that Chandra's Triumph can hit that just fine. Um, and let's... I don't think we need to play that untapped at this point. I think Syncopate will be able to hit here anyway. Yeah, there we go. And that's why you play your land first if you have them. And opponent scoops it up. There we go. Oh, I, I feel so bad winning that way. I'm so sorry, guys. I've scooped so many times to the same exact thing. <laughs> it's awful. Ooh, and that's why I'm playing this in ranked. If you're in ranked, you can expect that kind of thing. If you're if you're in ranked, you can expect to be countered. And that, that's how it goes. Uh, and this is why I don't typically play in ranked is because it's like I, I feel like there's certain types of decks that are supposed to be played in each place and there has been a lot of new people that are even playing uh, lots of pretty aggressive pretty powerful decks in normal play but for the most part people stick to that the, the rules um, all right keeping this absorb to fairies have the lands to get up to it we'd like to have a two drop or something but sacred foundry into steam vents also not bad Hero. Well, Flame Sweep will be pretty good here. So this is Esper Control. Let's see. If they have the uh, Thought Erasure, they probably just take Flame Sweep. Which I'm sure isn't necessarily the thing they're wanting to be taking. But... All right, Glacial Fortress. Let's pass the turn. This is one of the great things about this, too. We can hold up Azorb, hold up the Flame Sweep. If they're not playing anything for this hero, it's just a 2-2 two is not that big of a bother for us. Um, if they're not playing anything else, though, I guess we can kill it on the end step, and that's fine. I'd rather wait and see. 
They go to end step. All right, Chandra's triumph, kill it. See, if, so they have counter. Dovin's veto. Tyrant scorn bounces it back. Okay, that's fine. Um, no reason to play Teferi, the little Teferi just yet, right? So let's go Glacial Fortress again and pass the turn. Just hold up what we had before. They're stuck on two lands at the moment. No, not anymore. All right, so we actually let this resolve and just flame sweep and then hold up absorb for other more worrisome things. So that way we kill the extra token there. Feels grand and stuff, makes them feel awful. All right, play Teferi. We're not able to hold up Absorb at the same time, but I do think that just the extra card advantage will be worthwhile here. Um, all right, untap there. Pass the turn. D-Spark. Bummer. Tefnet. Tefnet's fun. Does he just have a handful of counters? Let's go for God Eternal Kefnet. All the fountain tapped and pass the turn. Inged Executioner. Okay. They have blockers for some turns. Decline the reveal. Um. I guess just swing in. Down to 14, and would we even, like, balance anything? I guess we can play this and tick up, but I'd rather just hold on to two absorbs, I think, at this point. What you got? Although we probably are, are only going to be playing one of them. Um, I just don't think we need it at the moment. Down to 13. Let's see if they exile Kefnet. All right, well, perfect. Ooh, and Chandra. Uh, we're just going to take up with Chandra. This is only a creature, right? All right, down to 10, down to 9. Uh, they don't have an answer for this. They just use their Ross's Contempt instead of using the Hanged Executioner. Um, which I, I feel like if you're playing against Control, go for the ability rather than the uh, than the spell, typically. Um, if you can. Basilica Bell Haunt. All right. Um, do we have anything that we actually want to bounce? I think I'd rather hold on to the Absorb. Like, Teferi would be nice to have here, but if it's that or Chandra. Yeah, I think that, that we are in pretty decent shape there. All right, up against Scarso. All right, well, we've already gone through uh, three quick games there with uh, Kaikar Control. It's kind of surprising how fast that's gone. And this is a great hand. Definitely keeping this. Death and Clarion revitalized on turn two. If we're up against Vampires, this should be good enough. Uh, I forget how, how fast they can grow, but that should be able to kill basically everything with vampires. All right, Esper. Thought Erasure takes Teferi, probably. Yep. Takes the Teferi. All right, Glacial Fortress, pass the turn. And uh, the control matchups is where this deck might have a bit more of a struggle. Um, we shall see... All right, let's just revitalize. Actually, wait a minute. I guess I could have Chandra's Triumph if they did anything else, but this is fine. So we our Syncopate is dead. We need to find an answer to actually hurt him. Um, I mean, we don't have instant speed stuff now, do we? Um, let's just revitalize again. 
All the fountain tapped. Yeah, we can't syncopate because of Teferi. So all of our counters are completely dead. Null and void now. So maybe I should have uh, should have just held up the syncopate beforehand. They know we have Defton and Clarion. Alright, well now we can kill Teferi at least. Um, ooh, and Kefnet. This way we can actually syncopate the uh, the mage as well, as long as we don't have land. Oh, man. You get to take the Kefnet. If they have another Thought Erasure, they can take Syncopate and then Kefnet again. All right, so they just, just take the Kefnet. It's a Scry. Ah, oh, Thought Erasure is so good. I hate it. <laughs> All right, uh, Hollow Fountain tapped. Pass the turn. Uh, get a hold up Syncopate and Chemistry's Insight. They know that we have the Syncopate, so it's a little bit hard to play around. Uh, but they also can't play that much of anything here. They can still... I guess we can make them pay for it here. Um, but then they get two for one. Chemistry's Insight just goes to our graveyard anyway. Yeah, it takes a syncopate. All right, let's chemistry's insight. There's Kiker, Kiker, with death and clearing, which isn't great, but um. All right, island. Yeah, let's just go Kaikar. The issue is, is that now our Jeff and Clarion is kind of obsolete. Like, it really doesn't do much. But we still have a good blocker for this elite guard mage anyway. So, uh, I think that we can turn this game around from this point. Uh, still, we haven't seen them actually build... Uh, yeah. All right. Lame sauce. All right, Absorb is nice. We can't actually hold up the counter here. Let's see if we see if it resolves. Alright, so it does resolve. Um I'm known for my excellent. Do we just draw here? Or do we bounce this? Bouncing it might even be good for them, so let's just draw a card. Yep, swings it to fairy. That's fine. Stop that! Now. Stop that! Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, his stuff is so funny. All right, absorb that. There we go. That's at least good. So we got a win there. Dovin's veto, great. Uh, let's go ahead and draw another card. No time for a break. And we'll just deafening Clarion now. I guess always choose both, right? Steam vents. Uh, come in tapped. I guess we could have held on to it for the Chemistry's Insight. I, I forget about that. I haven't played with Chemistry's Insight in so long. All right. So we have Absorb and Dovin's Veto. All right, so absorb that. We do kind of have like counter central here. Dovin's veto. Abuya. And opponent just scoops it up. Wow. All right, that's the way to go. They knew that we were going to be able to draw three cards next turn, possibly. I guess, uh, kind of. Uh, so I guess four. Yeah, so that was that was pretty sweet and tons of uh, value from that. Uh, 
Awesome. That's a good one to end on. All right. So there you guys have it with Kai Card Control. And I really like this deck. I think that it was really well constructed uh, by my friend. And uh, I I think you can definitely take this into ranked. And so honestly, um, maybe I should be trying to play Control a little bit more often. I know a lot of you guys are yelling at me, Jeff, don't turn to the dark side. And I probably won't. Like, honestly, I just have too much fun swinging at people's faces. And this just feels a little bit, you know, a little bit mean. Uh, but I do uh, I, I do want to start ranking up again at some point. Um, I'd like to see if I can actually get to Mythic because I've never even tried really. Like, I've, I've put in like maybe a couple hours here and there uh, before. But I'm trying to spend most of my time getting videos out for you guys anyway. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much and bye-bye.